Hello everyone, welcome to a foreign farm in the Philippines. I, I, you know, there's a, there's supposedly a gentle slope uh, from that end of what used to be a rice field down to this one. What I'm going to do, I, I had originally planned to use the, the new aeration I pump, pump, the new aeration pump I bought, uh, initially to um, pump these pits out but the thought of moving the pump from pit to pit is uh, you know, I don't know I just think what I'm going to do instead now that Tata's fixed my shovel is just dig out uh, between each pit well let me see I've got to make up my mind here. You know, a lot of these tarps are still holding water. And if I dig, if I dig a little trench pit to pit at a little bit below water level, then a good portion of this water is just going to drain down into the soil. What I'd wanted to do is, is, is dig out between these pits all the way down and let the excess water run into the rice field. But and and after doing that would uh, run the pump and to pump out the last three pits. The last two are not interconnected and all but all the others before that are so the five pits that are interconnected, I'd only have to pump once. What I w had originally planned to do was run the pump, pump those pits out, and use the old watering hose here, which I believe is either inch or inch and a quarter, and just hook it directly to the pump, and uh, our, the line's already here, basically, and just pump that into the fields. You know, I'm thinking that's what I'm going to do, rather than dig these out pit to pit. I was just thinking that it would be uh, really hard to get all the water out of these. And it probably will be. There's probably no way to get all the water out of these, uh, even with a pump. Because the pump's only going to pump it down to half an inch deep, and then it'll just be sucking air. I think because I do know that these pits, the, the, the bottom depth of them changed. Like this one here is dry and that one still has water in it. And I remember right about here, yeah it was right about here, this uh, because there had been so much run off from the plateau and out of that field there that a lot of sediment had settled here and so uh, a lot of attention wasn't paid to the bottom depths of the then Azola pits so that uh, while they were still the same depth from the top of the soil they weren't the same depth to the bottom meaning this portion of the field went uphill, and so did the Azola pits. The bottoms of the Azola pits were also raised. That's why I was going to come to here and drain it from this one, because I know those are too high down there. I just think that if I, if I cut into the side of these like I was thinking I would do, I'll cut into the uh, tropal, the tarp as well, and because there's not a little ton of water in these pits, but there is water in them, I'm thinking that just whatever water's in them is just going to leak into the ground and it's not going to get down to the rice fields anyway. So I guess what I'm going to have to do is just pump out each one individually 
the ones that uh, can handle it some of these only have an inch of water in it but some of them like the, the first one up there has like five and that one has several a lot of these have several inches so I guess that's what I'll do I'll just pump even though it, even though it means moving the hose and moving the pump and and a longer extension cord I can always come from there I guess I may not be able to do anything except pump out the pits that had the fish in them we'll see ouch I mm. know oh, that better not start bleeding again ah. I'll get in trouble. No, well, it is bleeding. I'm in trouble. I <laughs> I when I was doing those uh, sacks out at the shrimp pond to help me move one, I lifted it and pushed it with my foot at the same time and pushed it pretty dang hard and broke that nail I mean broke it good and anytime I bleed anymore Marcel just nags me like you can't believe I, uh, and it, that actually kind of hurt all I did was catch it on on one of these vines here it just pulled that nail up again ouch Yeah, I think I'm just gonna. These two pits here at the end will have to be pumped out individually. This one and that one, because as you can see, the drain is pretty high. So I'll have to pump these out. And uh, the line, the plastic, the large plastic line is big enough to go all the way to the rice field. So I'll just do it that way. Uh, so I'll probably start here and pump one of these Maybe pump both of these dry and then what's in those other five pits. I'll just put in these and start over again Well now that we've all talked about it. I have a clear plan of action and a throbbing toe Hi brother Thanks everyone, please like comment share and subscribe